So the first stage of doing the oil change on an Audi A3 is to remove the engine under tray and you need a Torx T25 and just work your way around the various different screws. So we can undo these and we can then access the bottom of the engine. So just going to undo all these and then we'll show you the next step. Once you've undone all of these screws, there are three um, bolts at the back that need to be undone as well. Once those are undone, the tray will drop down and it's just a case of slide it back towards the rear of the car and you'll be able to remove it. Each is to remove the sump plug and um, where you will need a 19 millimeter socket on that and your ratchet spanner. Um, also make sure you've got a drain tray handy so that as soon as you release the um, nut you'll be able to catch the oil that comes out because it will come out quite fast. Um, then the next stage once we've done that will be to undo the oil filter and um, undo the housing and we can then change the filter insert so I'll show you that once I've done. So I've removed the drain plug and the oil is flowing out and um, coming to a steady trickle now um, and once that's done we'll be able to put the 19mm uh, plug back in. The next stage is to remove the oil filter housing. There are two parts to this. One is to remove the central plug with a 6mm Allen key so that you can drain down the filter, again making sure you have a tray underneath. The next part is a 36mm socket that you will need to remove the whole housing itself. And once that's done, we can then replace the oil filter element that sits inside it. Once you've removed the um, filter housing, the next stage is to put the new filter in, um, which is a filter element. You can then tighten that back up with 36 millimeter um, and make sure you also tighten the um, Allen key at the bottom so it doesn't leak out. Once you put the sump plug back in, put the new filter element in and tightened up the housing, the next stage is to refill with oil. So I'm using Shell Helix Ultra 5W30. The important thing is that it meets the VW502 standard. Um, but I also have um, Shell Helix HX7, which also meets the 502 standard, and that I've used for a different car in the past, um, and that's 10W40. Um, but the recommendation from VW is the 5W30 oil. So this takes uh, five and a half litres. So I'd put in about five litres initially, check where the level is, and then see um, what you need to top up after that once it's gone into the oil filter. And then that's the oil filter and oil change done.